of what attracted you to me. <laughs> <laughs> When I first met Sirui, I thought like, eh, she's actually a very gentle person, very caring. Actually, I was kind of interested lah. Uh, yeah, so we were studying a lot at NUS Law together lah. And then we were attending lectures, attending tutorials together. It's where we spend uh, four years of our lives studying, and also uh, two years of our lives as a couple lah. So there was once we were studying together, and then like, Chris told me he didn't get a certain uh, award that he wanted. So I always thought that like he's very, a very competitive person. So like, I, I mean, I didn't really like him. But he shared with me that um, he prayed about it. And then like, verse really impacted him. So it was a verse in Habakkuk uh, 3.17. It says that like, even though there are no um, figs on the trees, and even though there are no grapes on the vines, but we will rejoice in the Lord our Saviour lah. So that time when he shared that, I, I saw a, a different side of him. Yes, I got to know Suri better, right? I realised that she is really very other-centered. When she was in Canada, her heart was really for the homeless. She was always thinking about how she can volunteer more. And uh, I was thinking, wow, this is uh, wow, somewhere very special. I think it's like a feeling uh, that I can sense. Uh, he always asked me how to study and when we study together, we talk about all kinds of things and we really share our hearts. For me, I'm not so sensitive to feelings. Lah, so Actually, I liked Sui Rei for quite long already. So in my heart, I was always thinking like, eh, does Sui Rei like me or not? Then I, I feel a bit sad. Maybe she doesn't like me. But <laughs> it's only eight months after we knew each other that uh, I started to get a hint that she actually likes me. So we were having dinner with our church connect group. And then uh, I had to leave early. And then I went up to the other table. I, I tapped her on the shoulder. Then, then I said bye to everyone. Then as I left the place, I turned around and looked at her. Then I realised that she was looking at me with longing eyes. So, <laughs> so that was when I thought that, eh, actually I think she likes me also. So about uh, a month before I went on exchange, uh, he suddenly asked me out to go uh, rollerblading in East Coast Park. And it's our first time that we are going out um, that is not studying. So I kind of sensed that he was about to pop the question. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I asked her out so that I uh, got a chance to also hold her hand if needed. <laughs> then, anyway, it started to rain when we were rollerblading halfway. And then, uh, so we ran into the pavilion. That was when I sat down with her. Then it was raining all around. <laughs> The Korean drama, like. yeah. Then after that, I asked the question, uh, I said, like, uh, Suri, uh, just want to let you know that I like you. Like, it was quite funny uh, hearing him like pop the questions, and I didn't know how to respond, so I kept silent for a few minutes or so. <laughs> <laughs> I think after a few minutes, he asked me, uh, Suri, do you hear me? <laughs> Yeah, I think one thing is that for me and Siri, because we are a relatively young married couple, and there are also a lot of other young couples in our church who are about to get married or are in the dating phase. So one of our dreams is to uh, be able to help them, like to assist them, and also share with share our uh, good times and bad times. As a couple, what I really value most in this relationship is that uh, we are both uh, having a relationship with God, and it's not just like each other. Yeah. Um, so uh, one of the things that I really wanted in our relationship is to always have God in the centre. So uh, I wanted to pray together with Him every night. I really wanted to make this like a, a, a habit, a healthy uh, habit in our relationship. And like, uh, it's quite funny because when my sister heard of that we are doing that, she immediately did it with her boyfriend and uh, they wanted to pray together as well. Yeah, really church is where we have a lot of our trench parties. Uh, we all here to do life together, grow together. So I also brought Siri to church. And uh, this is also where my parents, they actually came to see our baptism. And I was very uh, happy la, because my parents actually uh, went all the way to the front, like pushed away the crowd to take a video, take photo of us together. Like I'm very thankful to be in this church. It's the place where 
my sister um, found God and my sister reached out to my parents and my parents also know God and they are all attending service with me weekly and I think it's really a blessing that is from God and it's so precious to me lah. Yeah, so I'm really really thankful um, that like God has blessed me with this wonderful person um, because like he has helped me a lot in my studies in my uh, current work also and it's a constant encouragement and even when my family was going through um, difficult times, he was always there, he was always there for my family. Uh, sometimes even um, more than myself. Yeah, so I'm very thankful for Suri. Like before I got together with Suri, I was still wondering, ah, yeah, when will I be able, ever be able to find someone who can uh, spend, I can spend my life with together and who is mature, stable and uh, really living a life for God together. And suddenly it just came. Like, uh, Three and a half, four years ago, Suri just came into my life and it was uh, unexpected but really you know, it brought such joy into my life. And I'm generally a more dull, a more boring person, but then Suri really adds colors into my life. 